on the last episode. And now we continue this shit. I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. Want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. What's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill! Now, you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob! <sighs> this is a bad idea. Alright, let's head out! I agree with Hosea, we should just be lying low and heading back out west. Not east into more civilization. Going for the private car. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. This game is really pretty. And we're only in the, uh, you know, the beginning section of the game, really. Out of the snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? I would have liked well, we to have been done with the fast. tutorial at the end of last episode, but I try to keep the oh, I'm trying to keep boys. these episodes, See? you know. At a maximum of like 30 minutes.
Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Whoa, whoa, hey, wait. Guys, wait for me! <laughs> There are Pinkton's government agents. Pinkertons. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money once we work out how to cash them. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Alright, you got it, Dutch. Is Bill there? Yeah. You wanna head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Sure thing. What's going on, Bill? Just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Okay. And we got fancy shit nowadays. We got fucking wireless detonators with remote signals. to blow the tracks from underneath this train. I doubt it's actually going to work out that way. Bandana. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. And let's do this. Looks like we're jumping on a moving train. Here we go. Yeah. Oh shit, I think we just lost one. Help. Hey, down here. Yo, you Lenny? Yep. Come on, Lenny. Come on, I got you. I finished a way out. Oh, 
I was hoping this game had dead eye. I couldn't remember if it did or not, or if that was just like something that only John Marston had. Oh shit! Y'all good? Oh shit. Oh, so it was my fault? <laughs> Oh shit, I straight up murdered that man. In the worst way. And we've stopped the train. Fantastic. Oh snap. Yep, you don't get up. Well, that did not work out as planned. Kind of like I had anticipated. Oh shit. <laughs> now don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now light the fuse. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. All right, let's see what's in here. Look at this place. It's like a palace. Now I've seen everything. Damn, this is a fancy-ass train car. Oh, yes. 
Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. I'll give you that. Okay. Let's see if we can get this open. Well, give me that cigar. That platinum pocket watch. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I don't care about any of that. Give me them cigarettes, stack of bills, 25 bucks, not bad. Alright, nope, nothing. Ooh, lockbox. Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> what did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, uh, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us, okay? See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride! Hmm. Okay, get on the train, quick! Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul. I swear. Get, Get on the train. Good. All right, let's get this train a moving. I think I did the right thing, sending them on the train. This hell hole, we're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we Thank God. Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> you know it. Glad we're finally getting out of that hellhole. Oh, listen to that music. 
I hope that's not copyrighted. Fuck it, even if it is, I don't care. It's too beautiful to cut out. Surprises. We've had enough of those. Me with the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. This is nice. Taking things slow for a change. Oh, look at that view. Oh my god. That waterfall is nice as hell. Get us out the street. Oh shit. That didn't look too good. Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the wheel. <sighs> you try to put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a leg? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. <sighs> Nearly there. there. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Oh shit, who are they? What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. It's about the colonization of their land, forcing them into those damn retreats. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. I hate what the Americans did to the Native Americans. So, oh, like calling them Indians. Yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was. Every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly, uh... Unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. Spider Duchess talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, fuck you. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your trap? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. Oh, life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. 
We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. So he's around 33. Because he said he's been with them for about 20 years. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? still heading the right way that depends are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan no are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains yes i believe so you know this area a little i've been through a couple of times there's a livestock town not too far from here called valentine cowboys outlaws Working girls. Our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe, Horseshoe Overlook. Overlook. Yep. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. That's a fair point. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay, thank you. You acquired some herbs. Uh, let's keep going with this cinematic camera. I like the way it looks. Part of me wishes I lived in this kind of era. Things seemed so much simpler. to be here. 
good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Here we are, gentlemen. Home Ooh. Home. Definitely looks like a good spot. prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from a dream of virgin land in the west. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. It's a good plan. Would you just look around you? This is a nice spot. This world has its consolation. <laughs> Gentlemen. I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. Up for robbing banks to usury? Seems more dignified <laughs> somehow. Now, yeah, because you're stealing the government's money, not the people's. And the government's as corrupt as they come. have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too... So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Okay. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. When we put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. <laughs> well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. <laughs> nice spot, Morgan. Ah. <sighs> Chapter 2, Horseshoe Overlook. <sighs> well, things are looking up. Yeah, you know what you want, you know what's in store. Yeah, we got music, games, and more, so come on. On the official Zesty.